hey y'all hey thank you so much for clicking on this video today i hope you all have been doing well i feel like i have been absent and there has been a lot going on y'all um if you're new here you then you don't know this but we have been in this new town home we moved in here on may 4th i've already done at least two videos on the move in here and i did um a home update video and this is the second home update since we moved in here but um in the last video i told y'all we were going to cover the new couch some rugs the coffee table and the dresser that i got for our master bedroom and y'all in the previous video i was in the closet because i really can't figure out a good time to film with everybody being home all the time and now i'm in the master bathroom <laughs> i just can't get right but there is a reason why i'm like in here instead of somewhere else in the house okay so if you follow me on instagram then you already know that logan swallowed a penny on tuesday night well tuesday this happened really early in the day so she swallowed a penny um we had to take her to the emergency room and then they transferred us to a pediatric hospital which it took four tries to find a pediatric hospital with a surgeon that could remove the penny because in the x-ray it was lodged in her esophagus like right here and um if you've been here long enough then you already know that lucas swallowed a dime when i was pregnant with logan but his was moving down and it came out in his number two so this was a different situation and it was very scary because she had to be sedated it had to be removed but she is doing well but she did have a temperature last night so i've been up all night with her trying to break the fever and she was just cranky and it's probably from the residual um sedation that she had to go through but anyway long story short there has been a lot going on over here but anyway i'm thankful to be sitting in front of y'all all up on your screen but anyway let's start with the couch so I found this couch on World Market. I'm going to have everything that I have purchased linked in the description box. If you're interested in it and you like how it's showing on camera or you want to check it out online for yourself. I got a white couch. Y'all, I'm, I'm in love with the couch. I don't know what you think of the couch. So let me know in the comments. How do you feel about the couch? I know that a lot of you guys are think that are gonna think that i'm crazy because i do have two small kids and i just bought white furniture but i'm okay with it because i did buy um, a performance fabric it's easy to clean i've only had to wipe off something once since we've had the couch and we've had it for a little bit of time now um i do let the kids eat on the couch but like dry stuff i'm talking like goldfish stuff that's not gonna leave any smudges or can be spread about on the couch but so it is we do use the couch I'm, it's not here for show i i bought it because i really wanted to lighten up my space in this new place because my previous house a lot of our furniture was dark and i just wanted to do the opposite of everything that i came from so i love the couch in my next video i have a ton of home decor and little knickknacks here and there so that next video coming up will be like me like decorating some of the spaces um as far as like the couch and the, the tables and stuff like that um but i do want to paint the interior walls i do have permission to do it from our landlord slash friend so he said that he's fine with it so i'm going to i'm not hanging up any pictures or anything for right now i because I do want to paint the walls. But yeah. Let me know what you think of the couch. I love it. It's comfortable. And it's easy to clean. So moving on to the rugs. So um, I ordered two rugs from Boutique Rugs. I've never used this online website before. I usually order all my rugs from Rugs USA. And I don't know. It's just something was in me to just, you know, try something different. Try 
shopping another brand, another company or whatever. And the first one that I'm going to show you guys is for the living room. And I thought that I bought it big enough. But mm, in my mind, it's okay. First things first, I did sweep the floors. I steamed mop the floors. And I love my steamer. I have yet to pull out the OC to mop in this space because it's just so much going on y'all and like at night I'm so I'm so done like I don't even want to stay up late at night to clean and film I'm just so exhausted I'm just tapped out so I've been doing a whole lot of steam mopping and that's what I did to get the floor prepped for for the rug to be laid out and I love the color of the rug we just laid it out we put some things around the edge of or the perimeter of the rug to lay it flat so we let that be as it was for about 24 hours probably longer than that probably was that way for two days so we had that rug set up and then that same night we went ahead and put together the coffee table which is almost identical to the dining table that i shared in my previous video which was also ordered from home depot in the unfurnished look because I just wanted a natural look in for this space in this house and um, I went ahead and I already put a ultra matte clear top coat on the dining table all you have to do is sand it and then you put a layer you wait two hours you sand it again you put another thin layer and it is recommended to do it three times so that's what I did as far as the dining table and y'all we eat on it it cleans up nice but i did buy some placements so i'm so excited to share with you guys in the next video so please make sure you guys are subscribed with the notification bell turned on um yeah so we put the coffee table together lucas did it with his daddy it was so much fun for them that he just lucas just really loves assembling stuff and as much as he's like in in the way sometimes we just let him do as much as he can do we don't complain about it um but i didn't do the top coat yet because it's just so much action going on but i will do it because that table has taken a beating as far as like the surface of it but so i got so what did we talk about we talked about the couch we talked about the rug we talked about the coffee table okay so i also ordered another rug from boutique boutique rugs um for the dining space or the dining table and that was the perfect size uh, because i wanted to make sure that when we pulled our dining chairs out that the legs will stay on the rug and we wouldn't potentially scratch the the flooring or anything like that so i will i will have all the measurements and everything in the description box if not on the screen once i can remember everything but I like that rug it is just as soft as the other rug we have in the little living room area um they are very compatible as far as the look and the the decorative um pattern on the rugs i wanted my rugs to not be identical but I want them to complement each other. Like you can't really tell one from the other. Except for there's a little color variation going on in the dining space. But I love it. It's great. And then we finally got the dining room chairs delivered. And y'all, it was it came in a big old box. Luke thought I was lying. He thought that something had happened. I said, no babe. Like all four of these chairs is in this box. It's, it should be like stacked to the point where... It shouldn't be nothing really for you to do and it really wasn't anything for him to do you had the seat it's it came in one fell swoop one piece and then you had the steel legs and you just attach it with the screws and it come with a little allen screwdriver or whatever you call that thing and it was really easy for him to assemble all those so and i also bought these because they were going to be easy to clean and it's a breeze you just can use any old multi-surface spray a microfiber cloth and all the little fingerprints all the little grease marks that these kids will be making if you decide to also buy these chairs if you're on the hunt 
you won't regret it they are very sturdy very stable they do not stack i saw somewhere online that a customer complained during a review that they weren't stackable but i don't i don't recall seeing that as an option to stack those chairs so i love the chairs they are black i really wanted black chairs i don't know why i don't know but that i love it i do in the future want to change the little um dining area lighting i i will i don't know if i'm gonna share what i'm loving I gotta see how y'all vibing with the black chairs first. <laughs> but I do plan on changing out that light fixture. A couple of light fixtures to be honest with you. But anyway, moving on. Oh, and the last thing that I want to share with you guys is the dresser. So, we got this dresser from Ikea. Ikea has been hitting the mark for us as far as affordability, sturdiness, assembly i want to say it's easy but if you're looking at the the little pamphlet with other the i call them the book of lies because sometimes instructions be so difficult to understand you like this is a whole lie ain't no way but we had a little bit of difficulty i let luke do the the first part like he had everything all laid out he was doing great and then like uh somewhere in the half of the book you have to flip the dresser so you can put the legs on it and all that other jazz so i helped with that then we had to lug that thing all the way upstairs it was just us and y'all when i tell you it was like really late i was kind of concerned that the neighbors thought we was doing something strange up here but it was so heavy and you you guys know he's still recovering from his cracked ribs He's doing better, but, you know, he shouldn't really be doing stuff like this. But we just mustered up all of our energy and we made it work. But <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Bless me. <laughs> Did y'all bless me yet? But anyway, when we finally got it upstairs and we started, like, the next day, because it was so late, he assembled the drawers. And when he put the drawers together and he put it in the dresser, I knew right away. It was incorrect something wasn't right because when i was looking at it online the the face of it was flush like i'm gonna insert clips and pictures of everything that i am talking about so you guys can visualize what it is that i'm talking about so anyway the drawers were sticking out just a little bit and i was like no something's wrong we gotta fix this so when i pulled out the drawers i saw that there's two holes on the hinges that you can use and if you choose the one further back it's not going to go inside so we had to take all the well i took all the hinges off and i re-screwed them so that everything could be flush Sorry about that my camera cut off because i ran out of space but anyway like i was saying everything after i took all of the hinges off and i placed them where they need to be placed everything shut properly oh i love the dresser so so much the dresser is empty right now because i haven't i haven't unboxed anything as far as like some clothes that I bought. I haven't rearranged anything. I need to organize desperately. There's gonna be a lot of content coming y'all's way. I feel like I finally got my life in my home space in an area where I can manage it properly again. But before I go, I just want to show you guys a PR package that was sent to my previous house that my realtor was so graciously kind enough to send to me when the buyer handed it off to her and so yeah i'm going to share with you guys my first pr package in the new house so this box is from good molecules and they reached out to me and asked me what type of skin that i had and i told them that i had um 
normal to oily skin and these are the products that they sent me so i have a silicone free moisturizer which i love a good moisturizer oh my god because my skin sometimes it has um little dry patches in my crease line around my nose so that's very important to me um i also was given a discoloration correcting serum oh yeah because i do experience some um, hyperpigmentation especially if i decide not to uh pop a pimple and i just let it like drop on its own it always leaves this weird black dot so i'm really curious to see how this operates on my skin i was also given a clarify and cleanse bar um i don't know what this looks like i haven't opened any of this yet let me see oh so here's the bar so cute let me smell it It, it doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell like anything fruity it does smell a little bit uh, kind of natural it does smell very natural which is good these products are not tested on animals that's always nice um, we don't want to hurt the animals and I was also given a brightening toner Ooh, you a lot of people skip this uh part of their in their skincare routine a toner it does work miracles on the skin so yeah i'm really excited to see how this works hi out on mommy me. hi lucas you want to say hey good people hey good people <laughs> He just had to make his way in the bathroom but anyway so i am going to give these products a a use of to the end of this month and i'm gonna let you guys know how i like these products for my skin because i'm confident that where i am now in my personal skincare routine i can go ahead and change up the routine and i will definitely know that it will be these products that have done something great for my skin or have worsened something that I already had a problem with in the beginning. So anyway, just make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on. And a big thank you to Good Molecules for sending me this beautiful PR package. I'm really grateful and I cannot wait to use it. So that is my second house update. I hope that you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you don't like something tell me but do it with class i am not one of those people that don't want to hear from you i just want to make sure that when you deliver a message to me that you have thought about it before you just let any old thing come out your mouth in the comments but anyway I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys have considered subscribing. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!